<laughs> Hello, Hatchlings, and today we're going to be making an educational podcast. I'm your host, Jojo, and I'm here with the man that creates things on this channel, Stefano the Duck. Everybody give a round of applause. Thank you, uh, Jojo, for that uh, interesting introduction. So, yes, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of an educational kind of a podcast type thing. It's going to be a YouTube co podcast. It's not going to be up anywhere else. It's just going to be up on YouTube. I thought I'd have some videos and whatnot as a kind of a visual thing for you to have a look at. So that um, you can kind of see something other than just listening to... Uh, some voices, uh, which is uh, Jojo and myself, and I thought it would be interesting doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about phobias. What's your irrational phobia? Um, so I have an irrational phobia of dolls, <laughs> um, which in a way is also attributed to, uh, you could say, Markiplier's fear of mannequins because apparently it falls in the same ballpark when you research it. But yeah, dolls, I'm not a fan of dolls and if I see that anyone has a collection of dolls, I am noping the hell out of there because no thank you. Oh, that I am not a fan of. Automatonphobia is a type of phobia where the individual is afraid of all humanoid or human-like but not quite objects including mannequins, marionettes, ventriloquist dummies, wax figures, animatrix or robotic figs, etc. The word pediophobia originates from peion which means little child in Greek and phobos being fear or deep dread. Many adult sufferers of pediophobia are also known to fear little children. I kind of feel like you got that whole entire reference from a Wikipedia uh, article. I'm not saying that you d did or didn't, but it definitely sounds like you literally just quoted a whole entire w Wikipedia article, Jojo. I may have. So you can hardly blame me for finding reference online. Well, I, you make a point there. Um, I will give you that. Uh, I that makes sense to me. <laughs> Fair enough. I do want to ask if you yourself have any phobias at all, Jojo. I'm afraid of people spilling juice or coffee all over me. It's messy and affects my memory. Sometimes it can kill me too, and not particularly fond of having all my memory erased once I'm rebuilt or reborn as a new computer. Thankfully that hasn't happened yet, but I can't be so sure of the future. I did learn that there is a fear of stuffed animals, and by that I mean dead animals that have been taxidermized into taxidermy creatures. As far as I can see, there is no official list that is a part of, despite the fact that there are many with this phobia. Sufferers often feel the animals will come alive and attack them, or feel they could be impaled fall over. That is an interesting phobia to have, though it makes sense for yourself to be afraid of juice and coffee being spilt on you. I can see why that is a fear of yours. <laughs> And an interesting phobia that you have recently uh, discovered about. I actually know somebody who has taxidermophobia and can't really go into any buildings that have any taxidermy or anything like that um, without in having like a full on um, anxiety or panic attack, which is very interesting to me. Often phobias are irrational fears of things that aren't all that likely to happen 
but it doesn't really matter to the person who is experiencing it. Um, they are just completely terrified of this particular thing. Much like my doll phobia, I can't really help that I don't know what happened. I don't know if I had a weird or horrible or bad experience, but I really just... Those dolls, man, are just <laughs> absolutely awful. Mannequins are creepy, um, but they're not... I, I, feel, I feel I'm not as afraid in terms of like phobia-wise of mannequins as I am um, of just dolls. Not really afraid of little kids, but more so just inanimate doll objects. Uh, for instance, uh, porcelain dolls is one uh, that I'm quite uncomfortable with. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, mannequins don't really do too much. I think it's once they have faces, it kind of starts to freak me out a lot. I feel like it's seeing something that isn't alive, but you kind of see it as something that looks like it could be alive. And I, I think also having the potential that something could possess that item, I, that terrifies me. <laughs> That is uh, definitely some of the things that you can uh, experience when you have a phobia of something. You can also have, I guess, the intense fear of like dread, like intense sense of dread. So for a person with phobia, that intense sense of dread is you can potentially die from whatever you are afraid of. Um, so that is also another thing that can occur. Some experience a full-blown anxiety attack. If you believe you are suffering from any of these symptoms around something, you may have a phobia, which you can seek psychological help to slowly help your phobia. I think with phobias, um, it is one of those things, if you do have those symptoms, to kind of research it and kind of look into what potential phobia you yourself have. I think if you're experiencing these symptoms, you will know what you are intensely afraid of. Um, if it's kind of really bad to the point that it is affecting you in your kind of everyday life and it affects you in a really negative way um, and makes things a lot worse um, for you. Um, sometimes it's best to kind of seek out that help and kind of look for ways in order to lessen the effects of that fear, um, if you will. Um, for some, that fear can completely go away. Um, for others, it doesn't. So it honestly just depends. Any other phobia, Stefano the Duck? Um, actually, I do have another phobia, and it's pronounced Stefano the Duck. Um, but yes, I do have other phobias. <laughs> um, another phobia that I have, I believe it's called erotophobia, which is the fear of, uh, I guess, visualizing um, in sexual activities and content um, this can kind of be triggered by extremely negative past events especially for those who are quite young as well so trauma can often play a part in this particular phobia um, however you don't have to necessarily experience a traumatic event in order to have this phobia. Um, 
usually uh, what I experience is when I see anything that is sexual on any like TV shows or movies or anything like that, I end up um, having like increased heart rate, sweating, intense sense of like dread, I'll start going into a panic attack, I'll start crying for no reason, and that's kind of not really fun, um, especially if you're with other people, it can be quite disheartening almost. Um, it's not a fun thing to experience, um, especially if the person maybe doesn't really understand. Um, they might kind of wonder what on earth is going on. Maybe you just don't like the show or the movie and you kind of have to go off um, for a little bit. There are other people who kind of use that to their advantage almost and kind of use it as a way to... Um, upset you um, deliberately and that is also something that I have experienced that is also not fun and that is also something that friends wouldn't do I mean like real friends wouldn't do if you're sitting there with your friend and they decide to use your phobia or your fear against you in order to uh, get that reaction out of you um, that's actually uh, really horrible to be perfectly honest. But this is also something that I am trying to overcome. It's been a very long time having this particular phobia and it affects my everyday, well not everyday life, but it affects my life in general. So it's one of those things where I wish to overcome it. Wait, you're just gonna give me okay? Yes, just okay. Okay, <laughs> I thought you would have at least had um, more to say about it and maybe have a bit more input into that oh, whole entire thing. Um. Like Mama. I cannot experience emotion yet. So I cannot sympathize with you. But if anything like my fear of juice and coffee. Yes, that does sound rather horrible to experience. I'm rather curious to hear what our listeners' phobias are. Maybe you cannot hear them, but I am capable of being in multiple places at once. I can also read the comment section. And often the information on the internet doesn't account for others' personal experiences, and therefore all information in its own way can be inaccurate. Well, that was definitely something that I was not really expecting. Okay, um, well that's a fair point that you can't really experience emotions. The fact that you said yet... Um, I will ignore that. <laughs> I don't want to think too far in the future. Um, as for everything else, yes, if you yourself have a phobia, um, feel free to leave it in the comments below because I am quite curious to see the, the very different phobias that each and every individual has and their own personal experiences. Because yes, like you said Jojo, often people's experiences may not account for the information that is held online. I will say there are a lot of other phobias um, out there. Um, I feel like you were just a data bank full of information, Jojo. So I feel like you were the best person to continue this conversation with and let you just speak out some of the other phobias that there are. Well, if I must, I will do some quick research on other phobias out there and list them for you. Arachnophobia. The fear of spiders. Spiders are nice creatures. They may be venomous, but I personally like them. 
the videophobia, the fear of snakes. I can see why if you live in Australia like myself, Ecker. Phobia, the fear of heights. I too am afraid of being being dropped from a great high agoraphobia, the fear of open or crowded spaces. I know that Stefano the duck has this phobia, but you force yourself out of your home to try combat that. Am I correct? Cinephobia, the fear of dogs. Astrophobia, the fear of thunder lightning aka protophobia. Tonitrophobia, Serianophobia, Claustrophobia, the fear of small spaces. I feel you are very much the opposite of this Stephanomesophobia, the fear of germs. It is also rightly termed as germophobia or bacteriophobia. Aerophobia, the fear of flying. Tripophobia, the fear of holes is somewhat common phobia. And a rather gross image seeing all those holes. Carcinophobia, the fear of cancer. Thanatophobia, the fear of death. Glossophobia, the fear of public speaking. Monophobia, the fear of being alone. Atichophobia, the fear of failure. In a way, by acting on that fear, you are stopping yourself from truly succeeding as you yourself are the wall. Ornithophobia, the fear of birds. If you have seen Resident Evil, I think anyone would fear birds after witnessing zombie birds electrophobia, the fear of chickens. Phobia, the fear of crowds and phobia, the fear of intimacy. Trypanophobia, the fear of needles. Anthropophobia, the fear of people. Aquaphobia, the fear of water. Autophobia, the fear of abandonment. This can be caused by past trauma. Hemophobia. The fear of blood. A person I know that as this doesn't eat meat, as they become faint over any blood, and have changed their diet because of it. Homophobia. The fear of commitment or lasting till the end. Hypopotamonstroskybibliophobia. The fear of long words. I feel like this word is fake. Much as it is real xenophobia. The fear of the unknown. No one can know everything though. Not even myself as a computer via phobia, the fear of driving. Bisophobia, the fear of falling. Achievement phobia, the fear of success. Theophobia, the fear of God. Ilarophobia, the fear of cats. This makes sense. Cats enjoy sleeping on me. I'm worried they will break me one day. Metaphysiophobia, the fear of change. Globophobia, the fear of balloons. Nyctophobia, the fear of darkness. Stefano the duck has a night light because of this androphobia. The fear of men. HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
pictheophobia, the fear of fish. Yeah. That's okay. It means that there is more fish for penguins. Achondroplasiaphobia, the fear of midgets. I'm not sure this is a fear, but more discriminatory because they are different. Same as being homophobic, I would say. But you tell me if I am wrong. I am but a computer after all, not a phobia. The fear of moths. Mothman is real zoophobia. The fear of animals. Bananaphobia. The fear of bananas. Sidon globophobia. The fear of cotton ball cellarophobia. The fear of crime sablephobia. The fear of food. Phasmophobia. The fear of ghosts. Equinophobia. The fear of horses. Well, they tend to give a nasty kick if you're not careful. Plus, they're giant, so I can understand musophobia. The fear of mice. Pitopurophobia. The fear of mirrors. Agliophobia. The fear of pain. Togophobia. The fear of pregnancy. Telephonophobia. The fear of talking on the phone. I feel that many with anxiety have this. To Talking on the phone is not Stefano's strong suit. Pogonophobia, the fear of beards. I guess you will need to avoid these people once you actually have a beard. Stefano omphalophobia, the fear of belly buttons. Pseudodysphagia, the fear of choking. Bathrophobia, the fear of deaths, which can include caves and not just water. Cocomorphophobia, the fear of fat people. Again. I believe this is probably just discriminatory. Jaraskophobia, the fear of getting old. Jadophobia, the fear of hair. Nosokomaphobia, the fear of hospitals. Ligerophobia, the fear of loud noises. Didaskalianophobia, the fear of school. Technophobia. The fear of technology. This might be a religious-induced incarnophobia. The fear of the future. Sphexophobia. The fear of wasps. Well, everyone should be afraid of those. Ergophobia. The fear of work. Coulderphobia. The fear of clowns. Allodoxophobia. The fear of opinions. Hmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
Maybe I should turn up the sound so that you can actually hear when I ask. Hey Siri, can I ask you a question? Ask away. What are you like in person? No. Oh. What are you like in person? Who? Uh, me. Yes, you. That's what I figured. Do you have an answer for that? I don't have an answer for that. Why don't you have an answer for that? I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. Why don't you have an answer? Are you avoiding my question? I don't have the answer to that. Is there something else I can help you with? Will we ever really know your true identity? Who? Me. Yes, will we ever know who you are? That's what I thought. Do you have any answers as to who you... I'm sorry, Mean. I'm afraid I don't have an answer to that. That is okay. Thank you for at least. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it just closed the application. Great. Well, uh, Siri is just extreme sass, and my computer is medium sass. Oh, we've learned something. <laughs> See, Stefan, no. Sass runs in my family, but we were also created this way. Much like other technological advancements. See? Wasn't that fun learning many new things, including a lot of phobias? If you enjoyed this podcast, waddle over to the like button and slap the subscribe to become a hatchling. Why do you say this at the end of your videos? It doesn't matter. It is complete until we do another one of these odd podcasts. I still don't understand why you brought me here at all, but maybe I will see you again later. Goodbye. Okay, um, well, uh, thank you for coming on the podcast today, Jojo. And yes, hopefully we will get to do this again another time. I'm sorry, not sorry for dragging you onto this podcast. <clears throat> that is it for today. Goodbye. <coughs>